Uh, you're another guy that's gonna that, like jumped me. What about this? Whew. Despite my mighty strength, I'm not gonna get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Oh, good thing I have a screwdriver. What? <laughs> what? Hey, and off. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the <laughs> neck when I look down for too long. Okay. I'm guessing I have to make him go away so that I can get the music so I can go like give it to the gondolier and then he'll play it and then, I don't know, pigeons will die or something. That is my current train of thought. Hi ho, hi ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh come on, sing along. Hey dee dee lo. Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? <laughs> Making him go away might be a bit of an issue, though. I don't know how to do that. Uh, let's just press things. Uh, that thing. Uh, no. Uh, what about? The mating song of the junk crabs. I really don't know. Let's just press buttons. <laughs> Maybe I can piss him off if I keep making him switch music things. I don't think so, though. <laughs> All these songs sound exactly the same, also, by the way. <laughs> just, so, just so you know. Ah, uh, what is going on here? Bozo... Sugar, sugar dispenser. Let's get some sugar. Well then, that was easy. Excuse me. Hmm. What do you want? Uh, I think you better apologize. I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. <laughs> cool. So, uh, unorganized crime. What is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. Uh, that sounds like fun. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? Uh, I'm 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 so incredibly cool. I am so incredibly cool. Just how cool? I'm so like laid back that the back of my head like is almost touching the ground. Yeah, and that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna have to prove my worth to him. Like, there's so many, like, side things that are just opening up. Well, how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless. Like, shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all. Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... M uh, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. Uh, and I'm a good listener. You are? That sounds interesting. They call me the ear. You know, there's this story that I've always wanted to... Eagle ear, master of sound waves. But my story... Listening his opponents into the dust. Uh, forget it. What? Did you, did you say something? Uh... I'm very resilient. I can fall from a tower two miles high into a pile of syringes without taking any damage. Remarkable. And can you juggle balls on your nose? Oh, really? I'm a daring adventurer, not a circus ocelot. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. So I guess I only have to, I just have I'm to a gifted tinker. prove one really? thing. That's okay. So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Yeah, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an un... Yeah, yeah, I get, I get the picture. I'm going to have now, to go shave Donna's your organization. cat then. You'll see. Ah, beat it. I do seem to remember a character called Donna, but I can't remember who it was. Uh, oh well. <laughs> we'll go find her later, I guess. Uh... Mm, say, where's your pal? Wink. 
He's got a nice secret hideout, even though he's not really qualified. Blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? That seems like it might possibly be an important fact to realize, considering he's looking through a periscope. So, what does the Organon think of your organization? This is the floating black market, kiddo. We don't care what the Organon thinks. So, what about that Organon official right behind you? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I would really love to... Don't be... Oh, wait, he's not what gonna let me. He's not gonna <laughs> let me. <laughs> and... Hmm. Don't try to... He is not going to let me join his organization until I can save shave Donna's cats. But do you like rock, paper, scissors? Hey, do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. Yep, so that one in that secret hideout I'll is definitely going to be you. the one I need. Whatever. So I need to figure out how to get him to move. So let's get him to move. I need to do something with his eye. I don't know what yet. Bozo! Hello, Bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus, was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. <laughs> Wait a Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. <laughs> uh, writing. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of feel bad for Bozo whenever Ruf Rufus is talking to him, though. But uh, let's, let's do this. Don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? <laughs> Something went wrong with the surgery. You think so? She looks healthy to me. Well, physically, she's in great shape. Like this. Boom, chaka chaka, boom, yeah! But mentally, it's more like... Cuckoo! <laughs> Understand? Certain people have mental problems. Yes, I understand that. Her mind has been split into three parts. Now, I have to persuade all three of them to come back to the lab for another round of surgery. Your girlfriend now exists in triplicate? <laughs> Don't stretch yourself too thin. Handling one woman's hard enough, but three at a time? I'll manage somehow. Uh... How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. Yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. <sighs> Listen, I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Uh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? Many times. I mean, between the two times since we've met. <laughs> Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast ye landlubbers! Yo ho 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 ho! Oh well, none of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Arr. I just love how Rivers is so clinically insane. See you later. Don't get lost. Okay then, uh, we got Govler, 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 <laughs> yeah, Govler, and we got gold. Is there anything else I can use over here? Ooh, there's a bathroom door. Excellent. Locked. What a pity. Gold, you're the you're the got angry gold, right? She's right for me. All right, Rufus. This is a routine situation for a ladies' man like yourself. Easy peasy. No reason at all to be nervous. You are eloquent and witty. Very handsome. And your hair smells of solvent. That's now, the important thing. The right facial expression. Uh, oh, uh, the daredevil, I guess. Here it comes. Check. Oh, Charm gosh. cannons at full no. blast. No. <laughs> no. Abort. And now to come Abort. up with the best possible line. Uh... Oh, that's it. A classic. Take a deep breath, and then... <sighs> Here I go. 
Abort, hmm? abort. Oh, heavens, it's you abort. again. Abort, abort the plan. You never give up, do you? <laughs> uh, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Uh, there he goes again. <laughs> did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did indeed. Oh, right. Yes, I, I can imagine. <laughs> it, it, it helps that she's done it twice now. Uh... We're actually not all that different. Neither of us belongs on this planet. That's right. I belong on Elysium, and you belong in solitary confinement. No, no. Well, what I meant was, we belong together. We, we are soulmates, so to speak. I have no idea where you get that notion. I am sophisticated. I am educated. Check. Check. I haven't got any communicable diseases. Uh, well, I still maintain <laughs> that we're, we're very similar. Just don't come too close to me, will you? Uh, I don't like this goal very much. Here's looking at you, kid. Why? Do you have a sty or something? Now that you mention it, I, I've actually got a little eye infection. Ugh, keep your distance, okay? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Good question. What am I doing here? Oh, that was a bad line of questioning. Bad line of questioning. From the escape pod. Abort the plan. Saved you, dropped you. Doesn't all that depend on, on the point of view? <laughs> Only if you're a short-sighted idiot. Luckily, that's easy to verify. Hey, Bozo, did I rescue Goal? No idea. I gave up trying to understand what you were doing a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Bozo thinks I'm cool, too. I give up. I'm afraid I already know you better than that. Uh, you have to come with me and see Doc. What for? So you can demolish my head even further? Ah, really turned your head, did I? Turning heads and demolishing them are two different things. <laughs> with Tony's tortoise, they weren't. Listen, Rufus, <laughs> I am dirty, my hair is a mess, and my head feels like someone sliced through my skull with a circular saw. Yes, but there's no proof. And to top it all off, I'm starving. So, you had better stay away from me. Yay! If you're hungry, I've got a leftover bowl of peanuts from our last mud cake festival. Oh, yuck! It's growing hair! I bet this little bowl contains more killer bacteria than a biological warfare lab. Nah, we're all out of killer bacteria. These are influenza viruses. Huh. Well, I'm sure those will be useful for something. Are you mad at me for some reason? Whatever makes you think that? You kidnapped me, caused me a bad head injury. That's not the way I remember it. You appear to be suffering from a perception disorder. You mean, in reality, you're not sexy at all? Just stay away from me. Understood. So, this is where you've been hanging out. Believe me, I would much rather be on the West Promenade by the Rotating Gardens. At this time of year, Morris serves the best soyacino in all of Elysium. Instead, I'm sitting in this hole in the ground, drinking... What is this, anyway? Camel drool. What else? Camel drool. No, wait. The camel drool's still under the counter. What you got there is the tincture for my nail infection. Ah! Oh, does that mean you bathed your filthy nails in this? Yeah, but go ahead and drink it. Apparently it only works on fingernails. <laughs> and this is where my mechanisms of repression should be kicking in. Ah, here they are. Uh, well, I, I Wait guess... Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. No! You shall not stab me! I shall stab you with my fists! Fists of stabbing. Or this knife, you know. Whichever one. I don't really mind. 